Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Twice Baked Potato Casserole. Well, we are back on our journey to explore delicious holiday side dishes and desserts. And today we're tackling everyone's favorite starchy side dish, the potato. Now there's gotta be a million ways to cook the potato, which is why potatoes are so much fun to cook. In this case, we're making a twice baked potato casserole. So imagine a fully loaded baked potato mashed and cooked in casserole form in a cast iron dish on the grill. It's pure comfort food. Let's jump in. So we're starting out with five pounds of russet potatoes. We're gonna hit these with a little bit of olive oil just to coat the outsides. We'll transfer them to a sheet pan as they get coated. Then we're gonna get the tops of these seasoned with some Cattleman's Grill Trail Dust all-purpose seasoning. So we're gonna use some of the skins today, not all of them, which is why I'm not really worried about covering all surfaces with seasoning. So those are ready to go on the grill. We're also gonna be roasting off a head of garlic. And for that, what we're gonna do is just take this end and cut it off to expose all of those cloves, leaving everything intact at the root end. And we're just gonna set that on some foil hit it with a little bit of olive oil and wrap that up nice and tight to roast. And actually just throw it on the pan with the potatoes. Now one more thing before we head over to the grill, we've got a pound of just classic cut bacon. I'm gonna lay this all out on a rack over a sheet pan and we're gonna let this crisp up on the grill as well. This is one of my favorite ways to cook bacon. I love the way the fat renders down when it's not sitting in its own fat. Now these can overlap a little bit because they're going to shrink up. And I won't bore you filling this whole pan up, but we are going to get the full pound on the rack. Now today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill, running it at 425 degrees set up for indirect grilling. So potatoes are going to go on the main cooking grate along with the garlic and our bacon up top. Well, everything's been cooking for about 45 minutes now. You can see our bacon starting to crisp up. I've even had to take a couple of pieces off that were already done. We're gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the bacon now. We're also gonna take a look at our garlic. Well, you can see that that's completely softened up. That's what we're looking for. Just be able to squeeze that right out of there. So garlic is done as well. Our potatoes. They're getting soft, they're not all the way there yet, so we're gonna let those go a little bit longer. So potatoes have been on for about an hour and 15 minutes now. They're probing really tender, even those larger ones, so these are ready to come off the grill. Well, I've given the potatoes 10 or 15 minutes just to cool down to make them easier to handle. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna have them and scoop out the insides. We're gonna save some of those seasoned skins and then all of the flesh from the insides gonna go into a hotel pan. We're gonna start to build the, really the base of this twice baked potato casserole. Now, how much skin you wanna use is totally up to you. Uh, I've done this dish where I actually chop up the skin now and add some to the filling. Uh, I don't mind if a little bit gets in there, but honestly my preference is to even crisp this skin up a little bit more and use it almost as like a crouton topping at the end. These potatoes are kind of at that point in the cooking process where they're tender enough that we can mash them up and mix them with the rest of the ingredients, uh, but shouldn't just be complete mush, like they'll actually have some texture to them. So now that we've got all the flesh out of the potatoes, it's time to add all that creamy, cheesy goodness. So we're going to start with our butter, two sticks of butter going in. We've also got that garlic that we roasted, which now we'll just squeeze right out of there. And we'll just mash that garlic right into the potatoes. Now that they're roasted, this stuff is just sweet and soft and delicious. It doesn't have that same pungent bite that raw garlic does. We've also got a cup of sour cream and one cup of warm half and half. Last thing we're gonna add right now is a cup of white cheddar. Oh, I lied. Let's go ahead and get about a quarter cup of green onions in there and about half of our bacon. The other half we'll use to top 
the casserole when it's coming out of the oven. And now we mash. I like to do this with a hand masher just so it's kind of rustic. We're gonna still have some texture to the potatoes but get everything really well mixed. And before we finish this out, also gonna hit it with that trail dust one more time. If this is something you wanted completely smooth, you'd want to do all of this while it's plenty warm and maybe use a hand mixer or even a stand mixer to work out the lumps. But we're going to keep it nice and rustic today. So now we're going to transfer this mixture to our Lodge cast iron casserole dish with a couple tablespoons of reserved baking grease just to grease the cast iron up. We'll add our twice baked filling. We're just going to get this smoothed out so it's even all the way across. A little texture on top though is not bad. And then we're just going to finish this off with a cup of sharp cheddar. And we'll do one more shake of that trail dust on top. All right, it's ready to go to the grill. We're gonna start this out on the bottom. We can always move it up if we need to, but I wanna get a little bit of crisp going on the bottom of the potatoes. So I gave this a turn at about half an hour. Now we're at 45 minutes in. We're starting to get some browning on top. We've got nice crisping around the edges. So we're gonna let this finish just right over here by the stack. Probably another 15 minutes or so, just till we get a little bit more browning. So here's another 20 minutes on the top shelf, just a little bit over an hour total cook time. You can see how beautifully this is brown, that bubbling around the edges, really crispy around those edges. This is ready to come off. So we've let the casserole cool down just a little bit. We're gonna finish it off with a few toppings. So we're gonna add that reserved bacon to the top now. we we'll also got some of our potato skins that I've just chopped up and cooked with a little bacon fat in the skillet just to get them crispy. Like I said, kind of a potato crouton on top. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of sour cream. And finally, the rest of those green onions. That's it. All right, I'm gonna dig in here and get a taste. Oh boy, that's still pretty hot. Oh, that's got some serious texture and tons of flavor to it. Oh man, I'm gonna stay in here and eat this for a long time, aren't I? Look at this stuff. Look at the bottom, that crust on the bottom. That's all the way across that casserole pan. That's what you get when you use cast iron for your casserole pan. Tons of texture, but the flavors are fantastic. You know, all the things you want out of a loaded potato. Creamy, cheesy. Just the right amount of salt. Smoky, crunchy from the bacon. Pure comfort food. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.